As we all know, kinematics defines how a particular object moves without taking into account the forces acting on the body. In this video, we will look at the kinematics of the slider crank mechanism. This mechanism is used in several applications. One of them is the internal combustion engine. The piston in an engine moves according to this mechanism. And by describing the mechanism mathematically, we can determine useful quantities such as the volume trace and this is exactly what we are going to do today. For a given set of geometric parameters, we are going to calculate the volume of the combustion chamber. The geometric parameters are the bore, the stroke, the connecting rod length and the compression ratio. The objective here is to plot the in cylinder volume as a function of crank angle and this plot is referred to as the volume trace. I will be writing this program using functions. The function will take the geometric parameters as the input and provide the volume trace, the stroke volume and the clearance volume as outputs. The coding part in this case is very simple. We first define an array to store the crank angle after which we calculate some basic quantities which we are all familiar with. The stroke volume is basically the volume of a cylinder. The clearance volume is calculated from the stroke volume and the compression ratio. The crank pin radius is half of the stroke length and finally we define a constant r which is the ratio of connecting rod length and the crank pin radius. Finally we use the equation from Hayward to calculate the volume for each crank angle. We use a for loop to accomplish this. Now let us take a look at the main program. Coding the main program is very simple. We define the geometric parameters and then supply them to the function that we have written. While writing functions which accept multiple inputs and return multiple outputs, you should remember that the order is very important. If you change the order, then you will be using the wrong values. Finally, I make a plot of the volume versus crank angle and that's it. In the next part of this video, we will animate the piston motion and learn about automatic plot generation.